Hello everyone, today I want to show you my home management binder. Others may call it a control journal. But this is basically a binder that helps me organize a lot of areas of my life. And today I want to show you how you can create your own. It has been tremendous help to keep me organized and it has brought so many blessings to my life. So I want to share it with you guys. Um, so it's going to be blank um, for two reasons. One, because I want to show you how you can create your own. And two, because I want to conceal any private or sensitive information pertaining to my family. Um, so let's get to it, guys. The first thing you're going to need is a binder, just like this one, all right? And I think I may have gotten this one at the dollar store or maybe Staples. And one thing that I do know is that it has a little pocket right here. And this is where I was able to slide in my main sheet that I use here throughout the day. So I keep my home management binder in my kitchen cabinet. And here, um, in the front page here, I use a dry erase marker to, um, write my daily to-do list. So over here, I try to write three or four things that I want to accomplish that day. And I can tell you guys that whatever goes on this to-do list gets done. Whatever it is, make a phone call, make an appointment, whatever it is, it gets done. Um, there's something about to-do list that really helps you get things done. Um, and I rarely ever have to fill out the whole thing. And I rarely ever have to go on to the next day because I didn't do something that was that I had to do. Um, I also like to keep track of my water intake. A lot of times, me and my busy life with the three kids running around doing things, I forgot to get enough water. Um, so I like to get at least eight glasses of water a day, at least that. So I mark down um, the water that I take. I also um, sometimes used to forget to take my vitamins no longer because I now have a little tracker here. So I take my vitamins twice a day and I mark down when I take it in the morning and in the evening. Um, I also like to keep track of four things that I'm grateful throughout the day. Being grateful is so important, guys. When you're grateful uh, for what you have, uh, it helps you keep in perspective all the great things you have. Um, so here I like to write down three small things that I am grateful for and then one thing, one big thing that I'm grateful for. So three small things and one big thing. So for the small things, you know, like it could be anything like I'm thankful for my pencil, I don't know, my shoes, the soap that I have. And then for something big, it can be my health. So I think being in appreciation can bring so much blessings to your life and it can help you feel like a millionaire when you realize all the great things that you have. So that's my main page and I use a dry erase marker um, to, to keep track of things throughout the day. Then when I open the binder up, um, here I have my daily tentative schedule. And so um, I say tentative because... Um, I can't always follow this. Sometimes I'm out with the kids, I'm doing a play group, I'm doing an activity and I'm not here in the house. So I can't always follow this schedule. But for the most part, if I'm home, I try to stick to a lot of these targets. Um, so for example, 4.30, I want to make sure I start dinner. At 8 o'clock, I want to start getting the kids ready for bed um, and so on. At 12 o'clock, I want to start lunch and be done with homeschooling. And, I'm, and I'll make a video more about our schedule and how we do things here in my home. But I keep this one like taped up right here to the front of my binder here. Um, and it's really helpful for me. Then I have a master to-do list. And here I keep things that I want to keep track for in the long run. So it can be maybe a house project, a book I want to read, and so on. Over here I have uh, sort of the setup of my binder here. And I got these... Um, tab dividers in Amazon and I'll post a link in the description box uh, for the name of these particular ones. These are the only ones that I found that had 10 tabs and I love these. Um, and it has sort of like a little uh, guide here in the front and I went ahead and I used my label maker to write down the different sections. Um, but you can just use a marker or whatever you have in hand. Um, so here are the different sections. I have shopping list, cleaning, meals, budgeting, exercise, home care, vehicles, contacts, entertainment, and anything that's miscellaneous and uh, related, and, uh, and other things that are related to YouTube. For the sheet dividers, if you are going to buy the ones that I have, you're going to need to make a little opening here. So as you can see, I have them in sheet protectors and I have a little opening. I don't know if you can see it. A little opening so that the tab can go through and I've done that for all of them. Um, if you don't do that, what's going to happen is that the sheet protector is going to go over the tabs and cover your tabs. 
Um, so that is one quick tip if you are getting these um, dividers. And these dividers are great. I love them because they're color coded and they make things so organized. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this is set up. So let's go to the first part here. So this is um, my shopping list. So here I keep, um, this principle is basically all the necessities and wants of every single member, member in my family. So we're a family of five. So here I write down things that we need, um, whether it's socks, t-shirts, whatever it is, pajamas. I have the shoe size, shirt size, pants size, and dress size for the girls. And I have our sizes as well. Um, just in case my husband wants to look at this little log and he wants to see what I need or what the girls need. And basically, I have a list of all the things that we need. And when I'm going to go out, I go ahead and I take a quick snapshot, quick picture of it with my uh, smartphone. And I have it with me. Um, so if I'm out, I remember to buy these things that we need. And my husband as well, he takes pictures of, of if he knows he's going out to stores, he'll just take a quick picture of, of the things that we have here. Here is miscellaneous needs and wants. And here is just um, things that are not pertaining to people in our home. It's more pertaining to things in the home. Um, it can be uh, towels, maybe cushion covers, maybe printer paper, batteries, um, and things of that nature. And again, we just take a picture of these things on our, and we take them with us when we're going shopping, if we know we're going to a particular store. Here I have gifts. And I like to be very intentional when I give people gifts. I don't like peop giving people just random things just because it's their birthday or it's Christmas, like lotion or something like that, and they're just gonna toss to the side. I like giving people things that they really use and that they would really like. So when I find out that, the, you know, for example, I find out that my mom likes a particular uh, soap or a particular type of tea, I may write it down here and I may give that to her for her birthday or maybe I may just give that to her randomly. And so uh, I like to keep this um, here. And again, I take a, a picture of it. If I'm going out to the stores, I usually have a picture of these things on my phone. Here is my um, shopping list. So I go to ShopRite and I also go to BJ's. Um, and I also go to Whole Foods as well, but I don't have a full Whole Foods list because I don't really need one. Um, but I do have one for ShopRite and I have one for BJ's. And this is extremely helpful. Before I had this list, my husband was going to the grocery store at least twice a week and sometimes three because we will forget simple things such as olive oil or soap or q-tips and um, this is so helpful what this is is basically when I'm making my my list my grocery list I go ahead and look at this list and check to see if we have these items in the house these are things that we always need like flour rice potatoes water uh, pineapple onions these are things that we always use for our ingredients um, so the ingredients that we use for cooking. So I always want to check for these things. Sugar, salt, pasta sauce, etc. Butter. And I have this for Sharper and I have this for BJ's. For BJ's, I like to get specific things as well. Like toilet paper, garbage bags, etc. Um, and so this is really helpful when I'm going shopping and making my shopping list. Okay, let's go to the next section. This is my cleaning section and here I have my cleaning schedule and I have talked about this and a lot of you guys have asked me if I can provide you with a template and I will be providing you with a template so you can create your own cleaning schedule. So here I have my cleaning schedule and I usually have this on my fridge and on the other side I have my zones and so I clean my house in different zones and I want to tackle different areas and so in those different areas I do a particular cleaning and I write down exactly what I want to do in those areas. Um, so I have kitchen, living room, dining room, school room, master bedroom. Here on the other side, I have other things like bathrooms, basement, kids' bedroom, guest room. But I'll talk more about my zones in another video. just want to quickly show you that. The next section is meal planning. And here I have a meal plan uh, printable. And I always have this on my fridge. I use a dry erase marker to write down everything that we're eating uh, for breakfast, lunch, afternoon snack, and dinner. And um, I have a dry erase marker because if I want to switch up the meal for the next week, I can quickly do that. I'm showing it to you here in the binder because um, this is something that I will be prov providing for you guys as well. So you can create your own meal plans. On the other side, I have my, uh, my husband's uh, lunch. So I like to also plan for that, his lunch and his afternoon snack. Um, so that I know what I need to um, get for him when I'm making my grocery list. I also have different recipes here in this section, in the meal 
planning section. I have different recipes that I love, like maple syrup cornbread and so many, just, just a few good recipes that I really love. And um, I just print them and I have them there. Here is something else. Here I have a, um, I don't know if you can see good. This is a freezer storage uh, times cheat sheet, as they call it. And it basically tells me how long I can keep things in the freezer. Um, so meats, um, produce, dairy, seafood, like for example, it says fruits can be kept for a year, juices, one year, vegetables, eight months, nuts, three months. And I'll provide a link in the description box where you guys can get this printable. Okay. Go to the next session. I don't want to make this video too long. I have a budgeting section, and each month I budget um, for our family. And I write down the month here, and here is usually the, just the utilities, like electric, mortgage, garbage disposal, the gross extracurricular activities, anything that has to be done every single month that has to be paid for. I write down the due date and the amount and any notes. Um, for miscellaneous expenses or things that we may want to spend money on, um, that is not really a necessity. And that gets detailed out in this sheet. I have a miscellaneous expense log. So anything that we spend money on, we save our receipts and we keep it in this little box. And I will make a video on how I do my budgeting for every month. But basically, this is my miscellaneous expense log. And I lock down everything that I buy, my husband buys. And then I write it down over here as the total. And I'm able to keep this for every month. I have this sheet and I'm able to look at previous months as well as I have these in my binder as well. The next one is our exercise stuff. Um, here I have my husband's workout schedule. Um, he does two sports. He does uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and he also does Judo. He's always going to tournaments and stuff like that. I like to have a schedule. He goes to work out um, a couple of times a week. So I like to know where he's at um, different times of the week and also when his tournaments are going to be. I also have my workout schedule here and I write down like the different things that I'm doing for the week, whether it's cardio or strength training and stuff like that. And I like to have a, a little log there. And over here in this section, I usually have also um, my husband's tournaments and the dates that he's having them so that I know. Over here is home maintenance. And, and so here I have a worksheet on the things that need to be maintained in my home. Water softener, furnace, washing machine, chimney, septic, and the month. And I write down when these things are being serviced in my house, whether I serviced it or we got someone to service it for us. And this helps me keep track of everything that needs to be done to keep the house uh, going, basically. Here is a home project. So here I like to write down things that I want to do for my home, whether it's fix a door, uh, any remodeling, anything that I want to do. I write down the project the approximate cost and notes of maybe when I want to do it or any notes that I have about that project. Um, this is just a worksheet about recycling. I keep it in this section, in the home care section. Um, they do single stream recycling in my um, area and I like to keep track of the things that I can put in regular garbage and the things that go into the recycling. Um, and it gives me notes on how to take care of things like empty and rinse containers, please. Place recyclables loose and unbagged in your curbside car. Keep containers three-dimensional. Do not flatten. And it gives different tips. I like to make sure that I am recycling the right way. So I like having this visual. And I'll post a link on the description box where you guys can get this if you have single string recycling in your communities. All right, guys. Trying to hurry up here. Um, next session is car maintenance. And I like keeping uh, track of our cars. And when we got a car wash, when I clean the car inside, oil change, tires. I want to make sure that we um, are upkeeping our tires because we travel a lot and sometimes we also get snow tires and other things, other projects that we have for a car right down here as well. Here is my contacts. So I have for my close friends and close family members, their address, their phone and their email. And this is for um, if I'm sending them a holiday card, if I'm sending them a, if I'm sending them a gift, um, I like to have their address here. I also have a birthdays reminders and here I keep all of my birthdays for every single friend that I have and close family member um, for the entire year and, and then I go ahead and I write it down in my calendar but I like to have this here handy. Here is important phone numbers and here I keep track of things like um, poison control, fire department, police department, things like that, library and I usually keep this on my fridge. 
here is uh, entertainment. Um, and this is an entertainment section and this is my events calendar. And every month I like to plan different activities and things to do with my family. And so mainly in the weekends, I try to look online and, and on my newspaper to see what's going on in our community. And I like to write down things that I want to do with the family. Um, and also, I like to place in this section all of my kids' extracurricular things, um, when, when the recitals are, when um, something is happening in their particular extracurricular activities. Um, I also like to plan like my vacation things in here. I don't go on vacation too often, but I like to plan ahead when I when I want to go on vacation. I, I may uh, print out like potential places that I want to go to and pricing information and stuff like that. And then here in this section is miscellaneous. And this is my YouTube um, planning. So I like to have 10 videos a week and I have my video ideas, the date and the notes. Um, I also pl place in this section um, my personal goals and any other miscellaneous things that I want to place in here. Well, the, well guys, there you've got it. This is my uh, home management binder. I will be providing all of the principles that you saw in this binder in my teacher store. So if you're interested, I'll post a link on the description box below this video. For more videos on organization, homemaking, homeschooling, and simple living, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.